Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. You are watching Math with Yasser Rafaq. Today we have to discuss how to find out the derivative by the first principle of trigonometric function. This is the fourth lecture. In last three lectures we have discussed how to find out the derivative by using first principle of algebraic functions there. Today we are going to discuss how to find out the derivative using by using first principle of trigonometric function here. So here this is f of x is equals to sine of x. So we have to replace x by a. So we will have uh, f of a is equals to sine a. So we have this is we have the formula f prime a f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a with the limit x tends to a. So we have to use this formula. For the first principle, x tends to a. So this is f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a. So just we have to put the values here. That is limit x tends to a f of x it is sin x f of a it is sin a and whole divided by x minus a. Here in the numerator this is sin x minus sin a. So we have the formula sin p minus sin q where p and q are the angle of the function here. So we have the formula sin p minus sin q it is equals to 2 cos p plus q upon 2 into sin p minus q upon 2. So we have to use this formula here. Here the value of p is x and the value of q is a so we have to use this formula in the numerator that is sin x minus sin a it is equals to 2 cos p plus q means x plus a divided by 2 sin p minus q the value of p is x, the value of q is a, so that is x minus a over 2, all divided by x minus a. This is the formula, we have to use this formula here in the numerator. Now, this is x tends to a with the limit, we have to shift this 2 here, so this is x plus a over 2 sin x minus a over 2 whole divided by x minus a divided by 2. So when we have to reciprocal x minus a divided by 2 we will get 2 in the previous position. Now we have to rearrange this function here. Limit x tends to a this is x plus a upon 2. Here, limit x tends to a sin x minus a upon 2 whole divided by x minus a over 2. These two functions are in product form. So therefore, we can write down x minus a upon 2 of the denominator of the cos function as well as on the sine function. So just we have to write down here with the sine function that is x minus a upon 2 divided by x minus a upon 2. It becomes the sandwich theorem here. So when we have to apply the limit, so this whole factor will be equal to 1. So here we have to apply the limit x is equals to a plus 2 and this sandwich theorem will be equals to 1. So this is 2a over 2. So 2 will cancel out to this one. So this is the formula. This is cos of a. We have to put the value of a is equals to x. So this is f prime x equals to cos x and the derivative 
derivative of sin x is cos x by using the first principle here. Here we have discussed how to find out the how to find out the derivative by using first principle of trigonometric function. The derivative of sin x it is equal to cos x. Now we are going to discuss the another question here that is. Tangent x. By using first principle, f of x is equals to that is equals to tangent x. By using the first principle, we are going to find out now the derivative of tangent x. We have to use the same strategy there. So first we have to put x is equal to a. So this is tangent a. Now we have to use this formula to find out the derivative by using the first principle. That is limit x tends to a f of x minus f of a whole divided by x minus a so just we have to put the values here so this is limit x tends to a tangent x minus tangent a over x minus a here we can write down limit x tends to a 1 upon x minus a we have to separate this one so this is tangent a now we have to break tangent x it is equals to sin x upon cos x and tangent a it is equals to sin a upon cos a so this is limit x tends to a 1 upon x minus a <coughs> sin x over cos x minus sin a over cos a. This is the formula tangent x it is equal to sin x upon cos x with this angle a sin a upon cos a. Now just we have to take out the LCM in the bracket. So this is 1 over x minus a. Just take out the LCM here cos x cos a sin x into cos a minus cos x into sin a focus here dear students focus in the numerator here this is the formula sin alpha minus beta it is equals to sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta where alpha and beta are the angle of the function here so this is in numerator here sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta is given that will be equal to sin alpha minus beta so alpha means x and the beta means a here so this is limit x tends to a now this x minus a will multiply by this cos x of cos a and this is sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta it is equals to sin alpha minus beta alpha means x and the beta means a this is given to you here we have to write down this formula sin alpha cos beta minus cos alpha sin beta is given it is equals to sin alpha minus beta alpha means the value of x and the beta means the value of a now again we have to rearrange this one limit x tends to a 1 over cos x cos a separate the limit again 
limit x tends to a that is sin x minus a divided by x minus a again it becomes the sandwich theorem here sin theta over theta with limit x tends to a when we have to apply the limit so this factor will be equals to 1 so here we have to apply the limit so this is cos the value of x is a cos of a and it is equals to 1 so here f prime a it is equals to 1 over cos square a cos multiplied by cos it is cos square a so 1 upon cos means sec then 1 upon cos square means sec square a and now we have to put the value of a it is equals to x so this is the formula this is the result of sec square x which is the derivative of tangent x by using the first principle so the derivative of tangent x it is equals to sec square x and we have discussed how we have to apply the first principle to find out the derivative of the tangent x dear students thank you so much if you like this video please share it and subscribe my channel math is yasir Rafal. allah hafiz